Thanks so much, Molly. Laura Brannigan, man. Um, today's in-person interview is sponsored by Be Well Cannabis. Um, check them out. They're right across from the post office here in town. The line moves faster than it looks. Exactly. And say hi to all our friends there for us when you're there. Awesome. Um, so today we have Greg Salvatore. Hey, guys. Um, hey, Greg. Hi. He's an incredible photographer here in town and artist. You do um, Visual arts in general. Visual yeah. arts in general. <laughs> um, thanks for coming in today. Thank you, guys. Of course. <laughs> How was your summer? It was good. It was good. Great. Honestly, you work more, you hope a lot. Right. <laughs> then you hope a little bit more, uh -huh. and then you go to bed. <laughs> right. <laughs> and um, the day is done. So this was your second season with your studio Second in season, town. yes. Awesome. Yes. Um, what brought you to Provincetown? Um, almost by chance, but not. <laughs> Meaning, come for a holiday, realize, like, why don't we all live here? <laughs> right. And then you, you know, get your ducks in line to, to try and move, and then you move. <laughs> Where were you before? I was in New York. I was in New York for six years, and before that I was in London, where I grew up most of my adult life. Mm -hmm. My That's emotional cool. education was in London. Cool. <laughs> so you have your, um, your gallery in Whaler's Wharf. Yeah. It's your second season there. Um, and you can see it's, you mostly work in like hot dudes and dogs. <laughs> dudes and dogs. <laughs> dudes and dogs, exactly. Yeah, I mean, um, it's a thing that kind of crafted itself. Mm -hmm. You, as an artist, you do different things and you tr try different things and you try to also push yourself out of your area of immediate comfort. But then you look back and it's like, yeah, that's actually what I want to do, want to be that's doing. That's great. So yeah, it makes me happy. My collectors tend to like it. So yeah, everybody success, wins. Right? <laughs> um, the golden retriever that's in most of your pictures, is that your dog? That's Albert. That's my dog. Albert? Yeah. Yeah, that's so handsome. Seven-year-old smelly boy. Oh. <laughs> but he um, seems very cooperative. Yeah. You'll meet him and you'll realize that he's not. He's not. You know, <laughs> Labrador puppy is like, I mean, he's seven and a half, but you know, some labs have this thing that they don't outgrow the, the, the puppy stage. Yeah. So the super joyful hyper all the time and that's the guy Cute. but you see it two hundredths of a second in a picture right, so right. I'm, you know, I'm fast how I, many, click, I click fast how many treats are involved in the process oh it's not the treats it's okay. the attention it's a family oh. thing you're like pet 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 picture yeah, he really likes the attention oh that's cute that's, yeah um are is the dog or the men you photograph better behaved <laughs> no, I'm gonna pass this. One. Okay. That's <laughs> very um. That's very pensive you to avoid the question. Have you ever gotten a man to do just whatever the hell you say? Yeah, I'm very good at that. <laughs> We're whisperers. Right, exactly. exactly. Um, are you working? What series are you working on right now? I'm working on more collages, more three-dimensional collages. Mm -hmm. The stuff that I did, the blue scenes that I did this summer. And I'm working on more, more um, dog pictures uh, okay. in terms of like more gender portraits, which is what I've been doing with Albert and with other dogs, including Brew. <laughs> um, before we get to that, um, I just, you, so the series you're talking about that you've done, you're kind of collaging together different yeah. portraits. Yeah. That's, I've seen them, they're beautiful. Mm. Um, but I also saw your, um, you did watercolor cameras? Yeah, yeah, I paint a lot. Um, I'm well known for the photography, right. and that's the thing that I put forward mm -hmm. uh, in my, you know, even in the gallery. Um, but yeah, I paint a lot. I do a lot of watercolor uh, and uh, oil on canvas too. Oh, really cool. It's messy to obviously be doing that in a gallery, but when I'm, when I'm in the mood, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do it. Yeah. <laughs> just, just, move some just don't aside. get any close to the desk. Right, exactly. <laughs> Um, so uh, w another reason that we have Greg here today is Greg was chosen by the Provincetown Brewing Company to design the label for their newest can. So they've had four beers canned so far and they just added their fifth. It is the Asphalt Glitter. It's um, really delicious and it features our little friend here, Brewski. <laughs> How was Brewski as a model? Brewski was amazing. For the first time for a first time that I've never been in front of a like you know a professional photo shoot as lights and flash poppings and oh, like yeah. you know there's you know props and, and tiaras and you know a <laughs> lot a lot of stuff going on yeah Brewski, it was really chilled I've, I've always found Brewski not not skittish but he lived with me over the winter and one thing I know he's terrified of is ceiling fans really he's <laughs> horrified by them like, I, am, I am too I'm six seven right. so. <laughs> that is, that's I am very too. smart that's actually smart um, but yeah if you 
like you'll be in the room with Brewski and a ceiling fan, and about every thirty seconds he like does this to like check and make sure it's not like coming at him. So I can't imagine flash bulbs and the umbrellas and well, all this stuff. I really am a whisperer when it comes to dogs and boys. Uh -huh. <laughs> but the 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 way I work is like I usually ask the because I get commissions similar to this one, people that want me to shoot their their, their pets, and I usually take a three, four hours time, mm -hmm. and I use the first one just to sit on the floor and share moments with the dog, share treats with the dog, share <laughs> peanut butter with the dog, one for me, one for you. <laughs> like it, we really kind of get to uh, connect and have a good time, and then when I feel like he trusts me or she trusts me enough, then we might pull out the tiara and try something, or put up, you know, we photograph together. Like, it, I really kind of like the experience to be very um, step by step, mm -hmm. so, they don't get that kind of, you know, you see Instagram is full of, of dogs with, with items on them, but they always look like this. Yeah. <laughs> especially your golden retriever, he always looks so happy yeah. and friendly and nice. Yeah, they need to be, they need to be, right. they need to like it. Otherwise, mm -hmm. like, why are we doing this? Right. So the can that you designed was for the asphalt glitter. The asphalt glitter has been available in the tap room here at Providence Sound Brewing Company since like the end of last winter. It's, um, it's a lighter stout with sweet, nutty notes, and he's finished with a mild coffee that's actually um, Three Fins, which is roasted right here in Cape Cod. Um, they named it after, it's called Asphalt Glitter because I don't know if any of you have walked up and down Commercial Street the day after Carnival. Uh -huh. There's glitter all over it, and it like shines, and it's really beautiful. Um, let's take a look at the can art now. We have a little video for you, and then we'll talk about your inspiration. Um, so what was your inspiration behind what you decided to put on the can? Well, I like the polarity of the asphalt and glitter. Mm -hmm. And of course, like I work a lot with, uh, with the conversation of gender in a light, um, hopeful way. Mm -hmm. Meaning also, also almost ironic way, like there's going to be a moment that we will stop having to talk about gender yeah. because we'll be so past all of this that will just be, you know, you'll be born and you'll pick your color, pick your food, pick your favorite friend, pick the friend, the, pick the person you fall in love with. And that will be the extent of the thing, like mm -hmm. what you actually really are. And I think dogs have that immediate way to, you know, a dog uh, really understand reality and like what I like, what I don't like, what fit in my mouth and what doesn't fit in my mouth. <laughs> And that's the extent of the judgment for themselves and for others. And I think uh, using the conversation agenda and creating the, the gender polarity uh, with a dog, it's a way to lighten up the conversation, but still give you the opportunity to think about it. Right. And of course, m my art working on the two polarities like that, um, the idea of asphalt and glitter, which is like the feminine and masculine, the rough and the sophisticated, was a perfect kind of totally. kind of um, coupling up two concepts that would work together. And on top of that, like you know, you give me beer and coffee, I'm home. <laughs> two of my favorite things. Two of my favorite things. <laughs> um, Brewski did such a good job modeling. Look how gorgeous he is. He's so serious. Yeah. Um, also in. With that, the you got to choose the charity that is yeah. featured on the back of the can. Yeah. Um, so the Provincetown Brewing Company has a campaign called Draftivism, and that's in which they donate 15% of their profits to different charities, and all of their cans feature a charity. Um, which one did you choose to have on the mm. back of the can? The Summer of Sass, which cool. is a fantastic, oh, yeah. fantastic nonprofit. They're really helpful. They uh, reach out to what we would call kids, but they wouldn't call themselves kids because they're 18. Oh, mm. totally. We're just, you know, this is real. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and they basically help uh, these people to come to P-Town for a summer. Uh, queer kids that live in provincial America or very isolated community. 
And they just give that uh, moment of realization for the person that realizes like my life, the way I want my lifestyle is actually possible and it's normal to a lot of people. It, so I it, think it's It doesn't incredible. always have to be a battle. It doesn't always have to be a fight. You can be exactly. safe and comfortable. And, and there are people like-minded and there are people right. like you mm -hmm. that won't have any judgment for whatever is your, your self-expression. And it's my all-time favorite <laughs> cause. Uh, it's a cause that I feel like if I encounter that as a 17-year-old, and that would have saved me at least 15 years of having to do it myself. <laughs> right. No, that's very <laughs> Having true. a voice that tells you like, you know what? Chill, because you're not a waste of space. And if you come this way, there's other people like you. It's amazing. It's just mm -hmm. that little nudge that every one of us can, can use. Totally. No, that's, that's really great that you chose that charity. That's a really <laughs> cool one. That's, um, or, that's what's founded by Kristen Becker, local comedian. She's a fun one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's the uh, schedule for your gallery? Are you going to be open all winter? I'm open all winter on Friday to Sunday, so nice. in the afternoon. So cool. yeah, that's, that's good enough. There isn't yeah. that much traffic, but I'm also open by appointment, so people just call me up on my on, on the telephone number or on the on the computer on the right. on the website. And, and where can people see more of your art? Your website? My website, uh, artsy.net, which is this large uh, mm -hmm. global uh, art network. And um, the best thing is always come to the gallery because oh, you actually get to be, to see the, the thing printed out or, or the, the art piece totally. painted. So yeah, that's so true because like you can see it on Instagram or a website, but like, especially this one, I noticed where I'm so close to it. It's like, it is gorgeous. Yeah. The detail, it's like, <laughs> like I know Brewski pretty well. And like, that's Brewski. You can yeah, see every, every, life little, <laughs> every little drool mark. Every <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, so please check out Greg's gallery. Please come into the uh, Provincetown Brewing Company tap room and pick up a four pack of the Asphalt Glitter, which features the Summer of Sass and Greg's art. Um, thank you so much for coming in today. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Thank oh, you. I also want to congratulate you on uh, the P-Town Gallery stroll. Oh. That was so innovative, so cool. Um, it, was, it was really a great way for get local galleries in town to be able to connect with viewers so congratulations it's, you did such it's a an amazing job thing that. i'm really happy that it took over it, it really it really reinforced it's still going a lot more people got involved and a lot of people are helping we just did you know a, a, an auction they raised a lot of money so it's it's going to be something that you'll see next summer yeah, with awesome. even more people involved that's incredible um are you auctioning this one off i am i am cool. and i'm and i'm basically aligning myself with the brewery and i'm giving the 15 percent Oh, that's really the cool. Of, of South. When is that going to be happening? Or it's on sale from today. So it's I'm on gonna, sale. Yeah. <laughs> so if you want a scoop of this gorgeous picture of Brewski and 15% of that will be going to the Draftivism Fund and the Summer of Sass, check it out. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for coming thank in you today, guys. Greg. Yeah. Thank, you. Um, thank you all for watching at home. Thank you for watching every week. We'll see you next week. Thanks for waking yeah. up in Provincetown, wherever you are. Yeah. Thanks, Bethany. Thanks, Molly. Thanks, Mark. Thanks, Jonathan. Thanks, Greg. Thanks, Brewski. <laughs> Watch the end of last week's episode. Oh, wow. it's wild. Yeah. Remember, we can get the music to play, and it was just us working out. <laughs> about me sitting in the chair. Thanks for coming in. This is good. That's great.